Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Now today we're going to talk about Grand Moff Tarkin. Kenner never gave us a Tarkin action figure and today I wanted to share my thoughts with you guys about good old Grand Moff Tarkin. Grand Moff Tarkin was a man whom many feared. He was the Emperor's highest ranking officer that even gave orders to Darth Vader. But do you think that impressed Kenner much? I guess not as we never got an action figure for Tarkin back when Kenner released the first 21 figures for the Star Wars 3 and 3 quarter inch toy line. My guess is that Tarkin was a mean old man and no kid would want to play with him so best not make an action figure, right? Or perhaps the great Peter Cushion never signed away the rights to his likeness. Your guess is as good as mine, but sadly, we never got a Grand Moff Tarkin action figure from Kenner. Tons of action figures were made from background characters that got mere seconds of screen time in the films. Yet, a character with as much screen time as Tarkin had, you would have thought Kenner would have created his three and three quarter inch likeness. Tarkin was electric in every scene he was in. The evil he radiated was palpable. Darth Vader even had to listen to him. He was a boss. The man should have gotten an action figure. We should have gotten an action figure. Such a missed opportunity by Kenner. I think kids wanted a Tarkin and would have played with him to some degree. He is, after all, an evil man with a space station that blows up whole planets, is he not? He doesn't wear a black suit, but he is a juicy bad guy. Playtime aboard the Kenner Death Star place had always seemed to bid off as it lacked Tarkin's evil presence. Over the years, modern versions of the figure have been produced, but nothing that actually fit into the vintage Kenner line. That was until Hasbro released their 3 and 3 quarter inch Kenner style Grand Moff Tarkin action figure package along with the Escape the Death Star board game. Tarkin was one of the very first figures to roll out as part of Hasbro's retro collection action figure line. Overall I think Hasbro did a decent job creating a figure in the style of Kenner while delivering a character that we never got back in the late 70s. Which is very cool of Hasbro, kudos to them. Um, the simple design that they went with is something that fits into the Kenner collection upon first glance. Um, he does, on the back side of his legs, he does have markings, um, Lucasfilm and Hasbro, so no one can be confused as to his origins. You can put this Tarkin figure next to any original Kenner Star Wars action figure and he blends in seamlessly, otherwise I wouldn't stick him um, on my shelf with my Kenner figures. I think the likeness to Peter Cushion is really good. Hasbro um, did a good job with this because Kenner wasn't really big on a lot of detail back in the day So I think this lines up with what Kenner would have done um, He does have his gray suit check his insignia bars check receding hairline check I honestly think this is a good version of Tarkin. I think Hasbro did a decent job um, with this retro collection Grand Moff Tarkin action figure even though it's not vintage it's still pretty cool I say this because I currently do not collect modern and I don't really collect customs. So this is kind of like a one-off action figure for me. Uh, my brother actually sent this figure to me along with some other Kenner Star Wars toys some time ago. And after looking at him, I couldn't not stick him in my displays. I didn't think I would, but the detail, I mean, just his overall aesthetic, he looks really good for what he is, for it trying to be a Kenner, um, you know, a figure that looks like what Kenner would have made. So. Yeah, I did stick him in my displays. He does fit in with the rest of my Kenner figures. Even though I have no future plans on collecting Hasbro's retro line, I do enjoy the Tarkin action figure. Um, I think it is a shame, though, that Kenner never gave us this Ultimate Imperial bad guy back when Darth Vader was released. Playtime would have been far cooler with him roaming the Death Star. I appreciate you guys tuning in today and I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please share it and give that like button a thumbs up because it greatly helps out the channel and if you've not done so blast that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content and remember collect or collect not there is no try.